welcome back to Underwater Math. I'm Sir Puffet and the Pufferfish, joined by our friend Nitro the Great White Shark. Today we will be naming the fractions halves, fourths, and eighths. Let's start with our first object. We can see that it is broken into two equal parts. When an object is broken into two equally sized pieces, we call them halves. Halves is the plural form of half, like the fraction one half. Halves can also be made with diagonal or horizontal lines. Even with other objects, right nitro. As long as we have two equal parts, we have two halves. For instance with this shape, we can break it into halves like this, or like this. Let's look at our second object. It is cut into four equal pieces with a horizontal line and a vertical line. We call the four pieces, fourths. This circle is cut into fourths with two diagonal lines. These rectangles are also cut into fourths because they each have four equal sized parts. We always have to make sure the parts are equal. In this circle and this rectangle, the fourths are not equal. If you see vertical lines on the circle, the parts will not be equal. That's right. Now let's look at our last object. This circle is cut into eight equal pieces that we call eighths. It looks like a pizza. Eighths can also be represented with rectangles. But you can't have eighths like this with a circle. Or with this rectangle, we may have four equal sized parts on the left, but the diagonal lines on the right do not create equal parts. That's right Sir Puffington. To say that an object is broken into halves, fourths, or eighths, they always have to have equal parts. Great job today naming halves, fourths, and eighths. Keep practicing and we'll see you next time.